I'm testing two things right now. I'm testing the uh, Cena Bluetooth backpack for my Cena 20S, <clears throat> and I'm also testing the blind spot radar system from Muth Mirrors. So you can see I've got my uh, uh, my GoPro kind of aimed at the rearview mirror, so you'll should be able to see the blind spot radar go off. Uh, when a car approaches uh, to my right rear. In this case, I've got it aimed at the right mirror. You can also uh, see the sequential turn signals. I have the yellow sequential turn signals. So I'm just showing those to you so you can see what they uh, look like. I really love those sequential turn signal mirrors. They're, uh, I've had them on uh, for quite some time, and I've really enjoyed them. I think they're a big safety feature. Uh helps to let people, you know, driving behind you kind of know what's going on now we're getting a lot of wind today so i'm not sure how this sound is coming out i've got my uh, modular helmet on right now with the face shield down so we'll see what the sound quality is like uh, but we got a pretty stiff wind i'd say probably 20 25 mile an hour wind uh, right now we're going pretty much right into the wind we're going to turn up here on hebron parkway which is a pretty well traveled street I uh, should be able to get traffic uh, coming up behind me on both sides and uh, give you a chance to see how this blind spot radar system uh, works. We should be good to go. Okay, now I'm turning out onto Hebron Parkway. And for too long, I'll have cars coming up on my right-hand side. And we'll see if this thing works. Now, the blind spot radar system I've used it. A, I mean, I've tested it a couple of different times, and um, I, I'd say with mixed results. The first time I tested, I got I was getting quite a lot of false positives. The uh, light would come on when there was no traffic, nobody coming up next to me. Not sure what was causing that. I did adjust the sensors in the trunk, uh, change the angle of the sensors. There's some cars coming up uh, right now. In fact, you can see the light just went off. There's a car to my right. Uh, just pulled up, and uh, we're actually at a stoplight. Now, unlike a system in a car, this system does not detect whether or not you're moving. So even if you're sitting still, if a car or an object comes up to your left or right, uh, the light will go off. I seem to be having uh, a little inconsistency between the left and the right side radar sensor. Uh, the right one seems to be a little more sensitive. It seems to work a little more frequently. The left side sensor, um, I probably need to adjust it again, maybe make some changes to the angle or the adjustment, because sometimes it gets a reading, sometimes it doesn't. But as I've stated in my written review, this is a real convenience feature, a safety feature, but you should never, ever rely on any electronic device. Uh, like this. So you, you would never want to change lanes. Uh, depending that this thing is telling you what's going on, you always want to make sure to look over your shoulder uh, before you change lanes because you don't want to take the chance of pulling out uh, in front of another car. I'm actually uh, taking the bike over to the post office. I've actually sold this gold wing. Uh, guy's coming to pick it up in a couple of days from Pittsburgh. And um, I'm also going to stop up here and fill it up with gas for him so he's got a full tank of gas when he hits the road. Okay, I've got another car coming up on my right now. I can see in the rearview mirror, and there you see the light went off. It appears the light comes on about the time the car, you know, just about the time the car is about to go into my blind spot. I can, If I can still see it in the mirror, the light isn't on. But once the car goes into the blind spot, then the light comes on. Which I guess is what it's designed to do. That's the idea. Hence the term blind spot radar. Okay, so another car coming up to my right. A little SUV. And there's the light. Now at that time, the light did not illuminate the car was going fast enough to where he actually was right next to me before the light went off. There is a truck now coming up on my right side. I'm going to slow down a little, let him kind of come up. 
and I'll see when the light comes on. Uh, light comes on just as he gets out of my mirror view. So as soon as he gets in my blind spot, the light comes on, stays on for about three or four seconds, then it goes out. So if the truck stays next to me, the light does not stay on. So right now the light is on, the truck is next to me. The light goes out even though the truck's still right next to me, but of course it's forward of where the sensors are aimed. So I guess that kind of makes sense. These sensors are kind of aimed at a 40 degree uh, angle off the rear tail, you know, where your rear tail lights are. So there's another car. You can see the light going off there. I have not really been paying too close of attention. Now the left one's going off and there is a car coming up on my left. So it did detect that car. So, once again, I think this is a system that it's an added measure of safety. It's not an inexpensive system at $500. Of course, you do get the, the mirrors uh, included, which are worth about $200 just by themselves, the sequential mirrors. Again, I'll show you the sequential turn signals. Um, so, really, the blind spot radar system is about $300 of that. And... Um, it's an added measure of safety. It does take up a little bit of space in the trunk. It does take up a little bit of space in your left glove box. But if you are a safety conscious rider and safety is of the utmost importance to you, and I know a lot of you ride with inflatable vests and you know armor and expensive boots and gloves. So this is one more tool in the tool chest. Like I say, you never can depend on any piece of technology. You always have to ride safely, ride correctly, be aware of what's going on around you, and never, ever rely on any kind of technology for your safety. You always look uh, both directions before you make a turn or in you know the direction of a turn.